and welcome to your gold market update chance of interest for today the 11th of november 2022 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets let's have a look at what's come across the markets today and overnight of course we had the biggest one day jump for two years in u.s equities after those u.s inflation numbers came in much cooler than expected markets responded positively not sure how much it will influence the fed's decision making in terms of their december rate rise but it is expected they will rise by 0.5 percent but it may impact on forecasts going forward of course u.s midterm elections are still without a clear outcome the house is expected to go into the hands of the republicans the senate is still in the balance u.s futures are mildly positive in asia with some follow-through on that big day yesterday Asian indices are following that strong US lead with the ASX up a significant 2.6% as I record in this, but quite choppy over that 2% level. European equity futures are also suggesting a higher open later this afternoon. US dollar index on the back of that equity cent smash through support to hit two month lows. Gold popped higher and is now nearing 1750 and just under the 200 EMA. All paused after a two day drop and copper moved higher to close in. On the next key level, which is around about 380, not surprisingly, the VIX moved down to test the key 25 level on that equity strength also. Bitcoin, which had a shocker of a day yesterday, has seen it significantly bounce off those two-year lows. At this stage, it's not sure whether that's some short covering or whether there's a belief in the market that we may get some recovery in the medium term. As I said before, more US midterm results are expected. It's quite a busy day today for a Friday. We've got German CPI, UK GDP, European growth forecast and US consumer confidence all due out later. And of course, it is Friday. We may get some repositioning at the end of the week. Maybe some risk off the table, particularly as some of those midterm results may not come in until the weekend. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Obviously worth looking at the Euro USD on that USD weakness. You can see that massive candle there on the Euro uh, jumped in excess of... 2% yesterday and you can see if we look on the hourly chart the impact of that inflation data in terms of where we're going right now we are at a key level around about 102 if we do push to the upside on this expect to move possibly up to test 102.81 particularly if some of that data comes in okay today so that's certainly something to keep an eye on that European growth forecast report out later should influence this on the equity front, we are tracking LYC again. You can see uh, we breached this 880 level earlier in the week, pulled back yesterday and have had that big jump today. You can see we're slightly off the highs of the session, but nevertheless, we are looking good on LYC. Just if you are not in this already, perhaps keep an eye on this 930 level. It could end up being a resistance simply because of previous price action you can see here a little bit of resistance here and support here so this could be an important level to watch going forward it would be a higher probability trade if you were patient and waited for a breach of this because if we should get that then with potential upside possibly around about the six percent level up to around about 990 towards ten dollars trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now